In this Blender 2.8 tutorial I will show you how to create an unbreakable swinging ball and chain. I've assumed you have some knowledge of working in Blender so I won't be going into materials, textures or final rendering of the scene. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well first of all I'm going to apologise if I go through some of the obvious things in Blender because I've assumed that there are people with not that much knowledge um, looking at this tutorial. So first of all, all I'm going to do is just press X on my keyboard and left click on delete. Now a lot of these tutorials use an object called a torus to make chain links and it's not really the best way to make a chain link you're better off modeling a chain link from scratch um, you won't get as many problems and it certainly won't break so easy so to make life easy I'm gonna make a chain link by modeling a circle around a modified um, cylinder it just makes it makes it easier rather than trying to model a um, a chain link from scratch. So first of all I'm going to hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh I'm going to left click on cylinder and then I'm going to come to the bottom left of the screen and left click on the little arrow next to add cylinder. And Where it says vertices I'm going to just left click on the 32 and type in 64 and hit return and press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view and obviously roll your middle mouse to zoom in. Press tab to go into edit mode. Now the one thing you'll need to do here is just slightly rotate this cylinder if you're going to do you know make your link the way I'm doing it. So if you press R followed by Z and then 3 for 3 degrees so that's R Z 3 and then left click you rotate this on its Z axis by 3 degrees now press Z on your keyboard and this brings you up to your sort of view options and left click on wireframe hold down alt followed by A to deselect everything and then place your pointer right over the green line hit B on your keyboard hold down your left mouse button and then drag your mouse to draw a box over the right hand side come up to the move button here left click on it and then with your pointer over the red arrow hold your left mouse button down and just drag this over about two large or large squares if you look at the top left hand side you'll see some changes in sizes so basically you're moving this over about one so these are the larger squares hopefully you can see them okay press tab on your keyboard to go back into object mode and again using the move button here or you can use G followed by X but this is just as easy if you're a sort of novice hold your mouse over the red um, arrow and just recenter this don't have to be perfect hold down shift followed by A again and this time next to mesh left click on circle open up this box if it's not already open by left clicking on the little arrow and again change the vertices from 32 to 64 it'll probably work with 32 but it just makes for a smoother chain link and you can close this down if you want now press S and then move your mouse to make sure that this is larger than the cylinder that you've modified and left click come over to the right hand side of the screen and left click on the wrench then this is the modifiers button Then left click add modifier 
Then left click, shrink wrap. In the target box, left click, then left click cylinder. And then make sure you left click on apply. Now we want to remove this cylinder. So, in fact, what I'll do is I'm going to actually go into solid view. So if you press Z on your keyboard and then left click on solid, you should be able to see a cylinder. Left click on the cylinder and then press X and then left click on delete. Select your modified circle by left clicking on it. And then what you want to do is come up to the object button, left click on this, and then come down to convert to, and then left click curve from mesh text. Hold down shift followed by A, and then next to curve, not mesh, you want curve, left click on circle. Now with this move button still selected you can move the circle out of view or over to the left or right and also press S and just make it a bit smaller. Um, I'm going to take this down to about again top left hand side. For now I'll take this down to about 0.2. Left click on your modified circle and then look for the little sort of um, curve if you like and this is your object data button so left click on this then next to geometry left click on the little arrow and then you're looking for the bevel box and then left click in the box next to object and then left click Bezier circle okay I think this is probably a little bit too big so I'm going to just left click on the um, Bezier circle again and press S and reduce this down in size again so it says I don't know top left 0.5 something like that then left click left click on your chain link again come back up to object and then left click on or well, next to convert to left click mesh from curve meta surf text you can select the circle now and then press X and delete it ok press 1 on your numbers pad to go into front view and then R X 9 0 sorry that didn't work I need to select it press R X 9 0 to rotate it on its X axis and then R Y 9 0 to rotate it on its Y axis okay with this chain link still selected hold down shift followed by D and this will duplicate this link and then hit return and that sort of accepts the duplication and then just drag this down so that it's sort of above the first chain link okay now I'm going to reselect the first chain link and actually give this um, a rigid body so with this first one selected come over to the physics button this is the second one down from the wrench I click on the physics button and then left click rigid body leave it set to act active but left click in the box that says dynamic so you don't want a tick showing and also in the collisions box it says shape convex hull left click and then left click on mesh okay select your next chain link by left clicking on it and obviously this is in the wrong direction so press R Z 9 0 to rotate this link
and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to again go into the rigid body selection I'm going to leave this set active and I'm going to just change this from convex hull to mesh hold down shift followed by D and hit return and if you just go press 3 on your numbers pad to go into right hand view you can then drag this one down and again press R Z 90 to rotate it through 90 degrees now I'm going to press 1 to go back into um, front view so roll your middle mouse to zoom out and just shift in your middle mouse to get a better view like I said I assume you know a bit about this and I'm not going to duplicate a lot of these I find it's easier if you just select one of the object oops, and then hold down shift and select another one and then press shift shift D for a du to duplicate it drag it down shift D again drag it down and you can just do as many as you want here shift D and again drag it down do another one shift D hit return drag it down one more shift D hit return drag this down and that'll do for now I'll just have a quick look make sure everything's looking quite good yeah okay now these should all have your rigid body set up so that's good okay finally hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh I'm going to just bring in a UV sphere drag this down press S to make it larger don't matter what size it is we'll move it up and if you now just hold down shift and left click on the last link and then control J to join it you should find that everything if the sphere is active as well okay now press B and select everything bar the first top link and I'm going to just rotate this around but at present it will rotate around this point here so if you just come up to the top of the screen here this is where the, this is underneath rendering there's like a couple of links left click on this and then just left click 3d cursor and now if you press R you can rotate this around a bit okay now what probably will happen is it's throwing this out of kilter here so I'm going to just left click on this one and move it over and I'll move it up a bit okay now hopefully this should work I don't think that's too bad reasonably simple like I said at the beginning forget the torus um, and I won't go into rendering or anything but just shows a little bit of time and effort you can create something in blender so as I usually say hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers